Okay, today I'd like to talk about my MoFos from Dave Smith Instruments. Um, I have here the MoFo module and the MoFo keyboard. This one I got some time ago. Um, it was actually my first Dave Smith product. I really like it. Uh, it's a monophonic keyboard, monophonic synthesizer, I should say, with keyboard. And then uh, I had this for years as like one of my main synths here. And then I got a good deal on a module, so I picked it up. And um, I know that they have a function called polychain, and I had heard of that that allows you to chain them together. And as I looked around, there weren't a lot of videos describing it and how it works. So uh, I sat down and I did it uh, recently. And um, I actually said, oh, I might just make a video because that's actually really simple and it's pretty cool. So that is the genesis of this video. Uh, you notice there's no um, particular modifications to these devices other than I put the knobs here. You see these knobs match these knobs. on the When the MoFo module shipped, it had different knobs on it, and I changed them out so they all match just for aesthetic purposes. Um, but other than that, these are just stock, um, out-of-the-box Dave Smith products. Uh, you can see we've got two outputs here. Those are going to my mixer. We'll hear audio in a second. And you can see we have a clock in. I use this master clock in the studio and then we've got our power. Um, and that's it at this point. To polychain them, we're going to also need a, um, another MIDI cable, which I have here. So we'll see that in just a second. Now, so let's jump back in time a minute and let's do just kind of a brief history of um, Dave Smith instruments that use this voice architecture. So if we jump back to 2007, Dave Smith released the Prophet 08 keyboard. And that was an eight voice synthesizer based on a new architecture that he had just designed. Um, and thus the 08, because it was 2007 when it came out, but they called it the 08 because of the eight voices. Well, shortly afterwards, actually in 2008, the Prophet 08 module came out. And there were subtle differences between the two, if you really get down to the nuts and bolts of them. But they were pretty much the same instrument, just in either a keyboard format or a um, desktop format. So shortly after that, he released the MoFo keyboard, which is right here, excuse me, the MoFo module, which is right here. And it was essentially one voice of the Prophet 08. Um, it added a sub, uh, two, two oscillators, both with sub oscillators and a feedback circuit, blah, blah, blah. It added some new stuff, but it was essentially one voice of the architecture. So that is what we have here. Right after that, he released something called the Tetra module, which was basically four MoFos in one box. Now it did have some other features uh, that the MoFo did not, but for the most part, it was four MoFos in one box. Then, shortly after that, he released the MoFo keyboard, which we see here, which was essentially a MoFo module with a keyboard. Again, this is monophonic, MoFo, monophonic, just as Prophet 08 is eight, and tetra means four in Greek, uh, like, like is in the polygon or something that would be a tetra. Um, so thus the four voices. So, okay, we see where this is going, right? Then he released his next product, which was called the MoFo X4, which left everyone scratching their heads. It was essentially a tetra keyboard, but he branded it as a MoFo and nobody really understands why. Now I'm sure someone's gonna say, oh, well he changed the way it handles layering so it's different than the Tetra. Yeah, 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 big deal. There's differences between every module and keyboard. But for some reason, he chose to call this one the MoFo X4 as opposed to the Tetra keyboard. So then shortly after that, he released the MoFo SE, which was, this is not too hard to figure out, it was the circuit board from the MoFo keyboard put into the case of the MoFo X4. And those weren't on the market very long. <clears throat> they were discontinued. But today, all of those products have been discontinued except the MoFo X4, which is in itself not a MoFo at all because it's a four voice architecture, so it shouldn't be called a MoFo. It should be called a Tetra. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to dwell on that. One quick thing before we go on that let's look at a picture of all of them together with the logos, with what they do. And as we see, we certainly see some aesthetic similarities between the Prophet 08 desktop and keyboard, some aesthetic similarities between the MoFo desktop and keyboard, check out that logo. And then we have the Tetra and the MoFo X4. Hmm. Okay, I'll let you guys take it from there. By the way, I'm not complaining about Dave Smith Instruments. I actually love their products 
and I love their service. I recently had to have one of these repaired and they just blew me away with their service. They're a great outfit. So don't interpret any of this as negativity towards Dave Smith. Okay, so let's talk about how we poly chain these. So I've got them both powered on. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna go into our globals. Okay, we do that by holding that button. And then we need to change our clock so I'm using an external clock. You might be using the internal clock, but whatever you're using, you need to change it so you're sending data, you're sending clock data. So I'm gonna change it to MIDI in out, which means I'm going to receive and send clock data. Then I need to go to the parameter that says polychain, which is right there, and it's in the off position, and I wanna change it to out one and there's several you can do for different things, but I want to change it to out one, which is right there. And now I can go back. So now this side is set. Now I need to plug in a MIDI cable, which miraculously I have one run right here. And I plug it into the poly chain jack, which is this one right here. Voila. So I'm done on this side. Now I come over to here on the desktop. And again, I hold this button to enter globals. Okay, the clock is currently set to internal. I want to change that to mid, oops. I want to change that to, oops, maybe I should get on the right program here. I want to change that to MIDI in, so it will receive the clock from here. Now that is all I have to do on this one. At this point, they are now polychained once I plug in this cable. So I'll plug this cable into the MIDI in. Maybe, if I can figure out which direction it goes. There we go. Or not. There we go. Okay. So now these two are polychained. Um, so what that means is that when I play a note over here, that note will sound on the keyboard's internal uh, voice structure. If I play a second note, it will sound over here and then third over here and fourth over here and so on and so forth. So it will basically use up the voices that are in the main product first and then slave this one. So that's why you need two outputs on your mixer. Um, but basically we've turned this monophonic synth into a dual phonic synth. Now, everything can be controlled from right here. Everything, and I do mean everything. Uh, this filter sweeps, if I sweep the filter here, it will sweep both of them. Vault change the volume here, it will change both of them. Everything will be controlled the mod wheel, pitch wheel, everything will synchronize. There is one exception on the MoFo module. You see there's an audio in jack here. I probably can't read that, but there is an audio in jack here, and there's also one on the keyboard. On the module, there is an input gain right here for that. If there's nothing in that input jack, then this signal is just normal to the input jack, so this acts as a feedback loop. So you can control the feedback here. On the keyboard, they did the same thing. You have the audio in and you have a um, audio in level, but they also have that, again, double as the feedback, but it is now a parameter. So as I change it, you can see that parameter change. So I actually have a feedback parameter now. So what that means is on the keyboard, I can save feedback into my patch where on the module, I cannot. That is the only difference I have found between the two. Other than that, they seem to be exactly the same. They have the same number of LFOs, envelopes, filters, et cetera, et cetera. So they do seem to be exactly the same aside from that one thing. But if you use feedback in your patch, when you call up that patch over here, you're going to need to adjust it accordingly over here if you want the same sound between the two of them. Other than that, they do seem to be uh, exactly the same. There is one other thing I forgot to mention before you start this whole process, you need to synchronize the patches between the two because what happens is when you pull up, uh, what do I have up here? Bank uh, one, patch 16 on this, it's going to change to bank one, patch 16 on this. So <clears throat> you can synchronize the patches, you can back them up and then import them using the software editor. Or there actually is a way within here that you can do it as well. If you go into globals, <coughs> excuse me, and you go to the, I'm gonna find it here. Uh, where are you, dump. If you go to the dump menu, and then you change here, it will have, when you get to the end, it will have current program to profit 08, current program to mofo, 
current program to Tetra. I think those are self-explanatory what they do. But you also have current bank. So that's what you want to do. So you want to set this on current bank mofo and then write. Now that will write bank one. Then you'll have to change to bank two, do it again, change to bank three, do it again. That will synchronize your three banks between them. Um, so if you have your own patches saved, you can do that the same way. Uh, they will synchronize with that. Again, you can do it that way. That's probably the easy way since you've already got these hooked up. Otherwise, you can go into the software editor, uh, make a backup of your patches there, and then load them through the software editor onto the other module. But you do want to make sure you do that. Now, what happens here, hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you can um, with the resolution of the video. But as I change here, we'll see they will change on both because they are synchronized. The other thing is the clocks will synchronize. So when I have something like a sequencer, it will synchronize clocks. These won't be running at separate clocks, obviously. Um, we'll see that in just a second. So let's do some sound samples. Thank mm -hmm. you. 